Good morning guys. Today I'm at Kleb, I think it's Kleb Woods Nature Preserve. I'm going to be doing some trails around here. But the, the main reason I'm going to film today is to give a proper introduction to myself and what I'm doing with this channel. Because I've had a few comments from some of, some of the people watching asking, um, yeah, where I'm from what I'm doing here in Houston because people can tell that from my accent that I'm not from here so yeah the plan is to explain that a bit better and show you around here whilst I'm at it Okay, so if you never saw my first vlog, my name's Chris, I'm 28 years old. I'm originally from England, Manchester in England, and I grew up there. I'm half English and half Brazilian, so my dad's English and my mother is Brazilian. So I lived in England until I was about 18. And then when, when I was 18, I moved to Brazil Initially, I was supposed to only be going to Brazil for what we call a gap year. If you don't know what a gap year is, in, in the UK, after we finish college, sometimes some people take a year off before they go, go and start university. Basically to refresh their mind or, yeah, or decide what they want to do in life. And that's basically what I was doing. So I went to Rio de Janeiro. I was staying with... Um, family. I lived with my grandparents for a bit and my auntie and my cousins. So yeah the plan was to just do it for a year but then I think about eight months in I decided I didn't want to go back to back to England. Fell in love with Brazil <laughs> and I've got like a passport and from there so I'm able to stay there and live there. So yeah I decided I decided to live there. It took me about it took me about a year to get all the documentation to be able to, to work there and I found some work and then the same place that, that I worked ended up transferring me, well offering me a transfer here to Houston about three years ago. So I accepted that transfer and yeah I've been living in Houston ever since. So that's how I got here anyway. <laughs> Okay, so the, the second thing that I wanted to explain today was why I started my channel, uh, yeah, and why I decided to start vlogging in the first place. So before March of this year, I didn't even really know what a vlog was. I didn't watch vlogs. I thought a vlog was just somebody sat at home talking to a camera, which I wasn't really interested in. So in February, March, I went on a, um, yeah, I went on a vacation, a road trip with my girlfriend around the US. We did um, California and Nevada mainly. And then when, when I got back, I decided, um, yeah, I decided to start looking for people doing like travel videos. And then I found this whole like genre of people doing travel vlogs basically, where, yeah, they're just traveling and just um, showing the world the places that they're going. So. I got into a few guys, uh, some of the channels, in case you're curious, are uh, called Fun For Lewis, Vaga Brothers, um, Lost LeBlanc. That's a few of the ones I like. So yeah, I started getting addicted to these, to these travel vlogs. And then I guess after a month or two of watching it, I decided, hey, I could, I could do that of when I travel. Even if, it, even if the videos are just for myself. I just like the idea of making these little videos and um, yeah, and just posting it on YouTube and whoever, if other people like it, cool. And if they don't, at least, at least it's memories for me. So the plan was though that I'd only do it on my vacations, which isn't a lot because I only have like 15 days a year for vacations from work. And then what, what happened was I'm going to Brazil on the 29th in two weeks time. 
and I was going to do two vlogs in Houston just to practice before I go there because I had never done it before but then I ended up uploading those and then yeah I guess like two or three weeks later I've actually done nine videos now and it seems like some some people are liking them and it's also made me realize I don't have to just do videos when when I'm traveling there's actually a lot I can do just around Houston so I've got loads of ideas to do to do around here currently but yeah that's that's what made me decide to start vlogging anyway can hear it on this audio but it's so noisy here the the wildlife right now I don't know if it's insects or birds but yeah just try and hear it that's cool though <laughs> all right so I've just got to this area here it's like the the farm area. So you got this little farmhouse that looks cool. Got the garden here. Last time I came, all this wasn't here. I mean, they were planting, but it wasn't all grown like this. So now it looks really cool. I don't think anyone lives in these places, but I don't know. What this sign says that it was it was built in the 1890s by Edward Klebb, who was a descendant of. Germans that arrived in Texas and he built this place and made a lot of the trees around it So that's a bit of the history about this place All right here we've got the shed All the serial killer weapons <laughs> That's cool. I guess all these are like old-school farming tools not sure what they're for though. Oh, at the top you got all the saws as well and knives. Man, this definitely is a serial killer shed. Check, check out that one, the Grim Reaper. Not sure what this thing is. Yeah, I probably shouldn't mess with it. <laughs> so I'm at a part right now. You can see all this old school equipment. So I just read that this equipment is from the early 1900s. And some of them, they even think that it's from the 1870s, so yeah, it's really old school here. Everything's so rusty. Imagine sitting on that thing. Okay, I'm just going down the, the final little trail that I'm going to do today. So there's one more thing that I wanted to mention in today's vlog, which is also what are my, what are my plans in the, in the future for this channel. So you already know it's kind of like vacations anyway. And if you've seen on my main page in the header, it does say um, travel, day trips, moments, adventures. So that's pretty much it. I'm, I just want to, I always want to be filming when I'm doing something though. I don't really want to do any of the ones where I'm just sat at home talking to the camera because that doesn't really interest me when I watch other people's vlogs either. So one of the main things I like about vlogs is seeing places, seeing new stuff, seeing people. So that's the kind of content I want on my channel. So, um, so yeah, that's basically what I'm going to be doing. I'm gonna be heading out now guys this preserve is really nice though they've done a really good job I recommend coming here if you live in Houston one thing to note though is that you can't bring dogs here they say it scares away the nature so yeah don't do that 
I think you can bring bikes though, but I wouldn't really recommend going on, coming here on a bike because it's so small. You might as well just walk it instead. I'll put the details below the video in case anyone wants to check it out. And um, yeah, I like doing these kind of videos as well because all my other videos so far have been in the cities or the suburbs, but I'm actually more of a nature guy, so I expect a lot more videos like this as well. And um, oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be buying better video editing software because right now I'm using Windows Movie Maker, which is for free and that has like zero features, so so yeah, when I buy that, you should be expecting better, better quality vlogs, hopefully. And hopefully this video answers some of your questions and curiosities. And um, yeah, if you like this video, you already know, give me a like. And if you want to follow me on this journey of, um, of vlogging, please subscribe. I'm gonna, I've got a lot of ideas and yeah, I'm planning to show a lot of stuff, a lot of places. So yeah, should be fun. So that's all from me. Until next time.